Let's talk about your project structure. The project structure is basically how they determine that your project should be. You have a little flexibility, but for the most part, as far as I've read, they want you to keep it like this. They don't want a lot of flexibility. That way, when you get a Dart project, you immediately recognize, regardless of what software team you're on, how it generally works, where to find things, and how to modify it, okay? So the first thing we have is packages. Packages are dependencies that your application needs. By default, most Dart pack projects need the browser API, doing a query API to abstract, just like jQuery, manipulation of the DOM, dealing with certain elements, the abstraction over HTML tags, all that stuff in the Dart SDK is included by default for the most part in the browser. Now it has the version listed here, okay? This is one of the things that you do not check into source control, okay? Packages are dependencies both development and production that your application needs. So they will be listed here and we'll show you how to modify them in a minute. PubSpec lock lists your dependencies. So if you open this guy up, you can see that these are the dependencies for your particular project that's needed, okay? For now, this has the local development dependencies that I need. And um, if you're building a library, you don't, you don't actually want to include the pub spec lock because your library may have links to other dependencies. But if you're building a normal application, you might want to go ahead and, and check the pub spec lock in. It's just up to you really how your team does things. I think you should because you want to know what dependencies you're using and what version, okay? Next up, the pub spec YAML is basically the YAML file that describes your project. Now, they've included an editor, visual editor, in the Dart editor. I'm gonna expand this just a little bit so you can see it. What it is, is it's a description for your project. So we click this little source tab here. You can see that it's just a normal text file with spaces and tabs, right? Describes your project, the name, the description, the dependencies, right? And these dependencies are a little different than the actual library definitions, okay? These are like the, the high level definitions of it, okay? The overview basically gives you a nice little GUI on top to describe the author version, homepage docs, the SDK version you're using, things like that. It also gives you a GUI on top of Pub, right? So Pub uses the Pub spec to know how to work with your project, how to compile with it, how to get dependencies for it, to download those dependencies, right? So Pub Git, you would run if you've added new dependencies. For example, the unit test library is not included by default. You would click add, search for it, very similar to do a node package manager, hit enter, and then say pub get. And that will download the unit test library or dependency for you. It'll install it in packages, and it'll reference it in pub spec lock for you. Okay, and you can see it was done downloading in the bottom right here. So if you look, look now, it, it's got all the dependencies for unit tests as well as the dependencies that it has, right, with the particular versions. And if you look at our pub spec YAML source, you can see now that it references unit tests, okay? So, Pub build Dart is how you build your project for the most part to JavaScript, right? Production build, minified JavaScript, and everything converted from Dart code to JavaScript, right? In a build directory. This is different than when you compile for JavaScript, which basically pukes in your root directory, okay? If you're building libraries, you can also publish on dartlang.org. So if you dealt with Node and Node Package Manager, you're building your own libraries, that's what that does, okay? So that is the YAML. PubSpec YAML thing.